Hey guys, Colorado Camper Man Brian here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review of this Van Powers 100 watt solar panel. So this is a portable solar panel. It's a soft case. Van Powers sent this solar panel to me in exchange for doing this review. So I'm gonna show you guys how it works. I'll set it up and uh, show you what all you can do with this great solar panel. Just kind of give you guys an overview of the solar panel first. It does have uh, two carrying handles up here. They feel of good quality and it feels like the stitching is uh, really nicely up in here. Um, it's got two little straps to keep it all together. This is just a bifold, so it's just two 50 watt panels, which I really like. I'll talk a little bit more about that. There's a case on the front here, which you can see uh, it does have like a plastic waterproofing. So the zipper is inside. This is IP65 water resistant. This is not really waterproof. So you wouldn't wanna keep it out in the, the rain or anything, but if you get some water splashed up on it, stuff like that, it's not gonna be a big deal. Uh, inside this little case, you have your warranty card, which it does come with a two year warranty, which is awesome. You just gotta fill this information out and send it to the company. Small little instruction manual. And then it comes with your different cords. The, this cord would go to a power station. Uh, if you have one, I'll show you guys uh, here in a little bit how to hook it up. But this will plug into your DC output and then you would charge up your charge station or your power station with this. It comes with a variety of different sizes, which is really nice. So you can, you know, if you buy a, a different brand power station, you know, you should be able to find some that works. It also comes with this uh, additional adapter, which a lot of the power stations will use. And then there are three USB ports here. There is a USB-C port and then two normal USB ports there. I'll put the statistics about the uh, output of the USB-C and the regular USB uh, plugs right here. There's also some more technical information about the solar panel uh, right here as well. And I'll flash that. This says that this is compatible with your power station. You can plug your smartphone directly in here. You can plug a tablet, a camera, you can just literally put this out in the sun and charge your devices up directly from this, which is really neat. And what's cool is once this is out in the sun, each one of these little items has a green light and it'll flash letting you know um, that you have power going to it, which is really nice. As we have this folded here, I'll show you guys the measurements. So folded up, it's 21 inches wide and about the same 21 and a half inches tall. This thing is extremely thin. If you guys look at this, this is incredibly thin. I can't believe how thin this is. So this is, what is that? About half inch, a little less than a half inch thick. Um, this is very nice. So I'll show you guys, I had a uh, Reggie 100 watt solar panel briefcase, a hard case. I'll show you guys the difference here. Online, it does say this thing weighs 8.8 .8 pounds. On here, it said that it weighs like 2,400 grams. So there is a difference there. I decided to weigh it myself and I came up with 7.3 pounds. So it is lightweight. I have another quad panel that a different company sent me that you guys will see in a different video. But um, this one is no doubt lighter and it's just a good, uh, balanced weight, I guess you could say. Like it doesn't feel super heavy and I love how skinny it is. You could easily put this in your car or a storage compartment in your camper and bring this along with you. As we have this folded here, I'll show you guys the measurements. So folded up, it's 21 inches wide and about the same 21 and a half inches tall. So I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like when we have it opened up here now. Yeah, so we're going to open this thing up. Let's get these straps undone. <clears throat> and I'll set it out in the sun and I'll put the kickstand out so you guys can see it. But uh, here it is again. And like we talked about, it's 21 inches this way. And then as it's out, extended, it should be around 42, yep, 42 and a half inches wide. 
So very good size, um, under four feet. It does have these handles. So if you did want to like vertically drape it on something, you could. Uh, you could just hang it from the handle or you can put it out like this, put the kickstand out and have a layout in the sun. Real nice big panels. It feels strong, like if they feel heavy duty, it doesn't, I mean, they're flexible, but they don't flex too much. Um, and these is, this is a monocrystalline panel setup. But now let's uh, take it out in the sun. We'll hook it up to our power station and I'll show you guys uh, what this produces and how we set it up with the kickstand. So there's the adapter. Plug that in there. Okay, so as soon as I plugged that in, it had, I don't know if you can see it, it had green lights all along the back here. And there you go. You, kind of, you might be able to see it, hopefully. Okay, so as I was moving that into the sun a little bit more, the wattage the input wattage just kept climbing so it's peaked out at 88 watts okay so we have our solar panel out in the sun here this is about the maximum uh wattage i've been able to get in is at this angle and everything we're bringing in about 88 watts on this 100 watt panel so now what i'm going to try to do i do not have the power station hooked up so right here i have uh, my gopro battery charger. I'm going to see if uh, we can plug this in and there we go. Hopefully you can see that <clears throat> little red light is on so it's charging. That's sweet. I also have my little headlamp here. I would like to see if I can get that charged up. so bright out it's hard to see but there's uh three lights in there we can see those and it's blinking for the fourth light so that's just and that's getting charged so we're using both of those and then the last one is a usb-c so it's one of these little guys to usb-c which i actually don't have one of those cables so you could you could actually charge hook up and charge three things with the solar panel uh, without having a charge controller or an inverter or anything like that. So as long as you have some USB devices, you can charge things directly from the panel, which is really neat. Here is a closer look at the back as we're charging our USB devices. I do have this, you know, zipper compartment open. If it was, you know, raining, uh, you could close this up and it does have this waterproof zipper. However, it says that this is not meant to be left out in the rain. It does have a, a waterproof rating, but it's not something that you should leave out, especially when you have devices plugged in. But if it was just drizzling, I'm sure you could probably just close that up, have your wires coming out and it's all protected, it'd probably be all right. That's what it looks like with the uh, kickstand out there. You can see from the side view, you know, the panels do kind of, they're not perfectly straight there, which is to be expected on a soft case. Very nice. So that's pretty much how you use this uh, solar panel, guys. So again, you can primarily use it either just to charge your devices directly from the panel, or you can use it to power the power station. This isn't really set up to be able to power or charge your camper battery. Um, you probably could get a connection with some alligator clips in order to be able to do that, but there's no charge controller that comes with this. At the time of this recording, which is March 1st, 2022, this panel goes for $289 on Vampower's website. Right now they do have a $50 off coupon as well. So I'll put links to the, in the description of where you can check this panel out on their website. Overall though, I gotta say, I really like this solar panel. Um, I love how sleek it is. I mean, it's incredibly thin. 
Uh, it's lightweight. I mean, it's definitely lighter than the other panel I got. I also like that it's a bifold. Honestly, at first I thought I was gonna like the quad fold um, better than this bifold, but it sets up easier because it's only a bifold versus trying to set up four individual panels. Um, it also was getting more power than the quad fold um, solar panel, so I really liked that aspect of it. I also like that when it is charging, the little LED lights uh, come up on the little panel that comes with it. It's nice that it has this little case here, and um, yeah, I really like it. Comparable panels are a little less, so I'd say that's really the only con that I can think of. Uh, however, I think for some of the benefits I just talked about, this is a pretty nice panel for sure. So again, I'll put a link in the description where you can check out more about this panel. But thank you, Van Powers, for sending me this panel. If you guys have any questions about this or where you can buy it or any information about the panel, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.